Hi, hello, that's me again. Uh, I hope that you're fine. Uh, last time, we, our lesson was about the Chinese dragons. And we said that a lot of Chinese people love dragons. Chinese people love dragons and they thought that the dragons came from the rivers and they brought water for plants, animals and people. That's why Chinese people love dragons and wherever you go in China you find dragons in their buildings, buildings, bricks, clothes and everywhere you find this gates to find these dragons. And they thought that the dragons are friendly, wise and helpful. And we spoke also about uh, the king of the dragons and the king of the dragon looks like so many animals. It has everything from, all of it is from many different animals. The dragon was very strong, looked like lots of different animals. They had like a camel, the horns like uh, a goat, and it had small ears like bull, uh, the neck and the body were like laser, and it's green, had green uh, fish scales, the scales like the fish, and from its head to its tail, and it has both, and like a tiger, it has claws like an eagle. And we speak about the color of the dragons. We said that sometimes you can find uh, a blue dragon, sometimes you can find, usually the color of the dragons is green, but you can find some of them, all of it is blue, and you can find maybe one of them, the back is green, and the sides yellow and underneath is red. Okay. And we, we speak also about the size of the dragons. Sometimes they are huge like elephants, sometimes they are tiny like lizard. And we also speak about that sometimes they have wings and bushy eyebrows, long beards, uh, beards and you can find one thin like snake and one is very fat like uh, frog and also we speak about we spoke about this yeah, dragon with nine heads and he helped the king and this dragon every night met the king and the king taught him about the problems in the country and he helped him think wisely so the people thought that this king was a very good king because the, the, the people were very happy and they thought that he is a very good king because the dragon helped him think wisely, wisely. And we speak also we spoke about this dress and we said that the normal people cannot just wear, wear yellow color. Only the emperor's family can wear this yellow color. And this dress, we said that is for the uh, embrace, embrace. And we spoke about the things in this. We said it's um, there is a dragons. There are dragons here. They are thin and long, like snakes. And they have four, has five short legs and big head with horns and whiskers and it has fish scales and spines scales and spines like fish and the flame come the flame are coming from its body and we said that uh, the dragons breathe fire but they don't hurt people Okay? Okay, that's all about the dragons. Now we are going to solve the reading and understanding questions. Open your language books, page 20. Reading 
and understanding. Circle, question one. Circle the best word to complete each sentence. We have six questions. Number one. And each question has two options. Okay? Choose the correct one to complete the sentence. Number one. In Chinese stories, dragons brought rivers or water. In Chinese stories, dragons brought rivers or water. Yes, water. They brought water for plants, animals, and people. They came out of rivers. Okay? Number two. Dragons can breathe water or fire. The dragons can breathe, breathe water or fire. Yes, it's fire, but they don't hurt people. Number three. Sometimes dragons have long eyelashes, eyelashes or beards. Sometimes. Dragons have long beards or eyelashes? Yes, beards, long beards. Number four. Dragons usually help or hurt people. Help people. That's why Chinese people thought that the dragons are helpful. Were helpful. Number five. Chinese emperors had dragons on their thrones or their faces. Faces or thrones, their chairs. Yes, on their thrones, their chairs, and their beds, and their watches. Number six. The emperor's family could wear, could wear yellow or beautiful clothes. Yellow or beautiful clothes? Yes, yellow. This yellow color is just for the emperor's family. So the correct answer is yellow. Very good. Go down to question two. Read the questions. Tick your answers. Tick your answers. So we have many options. We have boxes. We are going to check and to tick the correct one. Number one. Which animals was the king dragon like? The king dragon. This one. The king dragon. Like. Looks like so many animals. Which one? Looks like a cat. We're going to tick cat. No. Looks like camel. Yes, tick camel because it had a head of camel. Looks like lion? No. Looks like sheep? No. Looks like a bull? Bull? Yes. Looks like crocodile? No. Looks like lizard. Yes. Very good. So, our correct answers, we have tick on camel, tick on bull, tick on lizard. Good. Go to question two. Which words describe Chinese dragons? Which words describe Chinese dragons? Fierce, they fierce people? No. Careful? No. Friendly? Yes, they are friendly. Helpful? Yes, they help people, they are helpful. Wet? No. Wise? Yes, they are wise, they think wisely. So, the correct answer here is friendly or the correct uh, description. The correct words to describe the Chinese dragons are friendly.
friendly, helpful, wise. Very good. Go to question three. Which things did some dragons have? Which things did some dragons have? They have wings. Some of them have wings. Yes, some of them have wings. Spots. Some of them have spots. No. Some of them have fingers. Fingers. No. Feet. Some of them have feet. No. Horse. Yes. Thick, thick horse. Clothes. Yes. Ticket. So, which things did some dragons have? They have wings, horse, clothes. Very good. Now, question four. We have pictures here. Frog, snake, mouse, elephant, dog, goat, fish. So, which of these animals were in the information about the dragons? When we describe the dragons, we mentioned some animals. So, which one of these animals were in the story of the dragons? Frog? Yes, tick frog. Because we said that you can find some of them fat like frogs, like giant frog. Very good. Snake? Yes, tick snake. Because we said that you can find some of them thin like a snake. Mouse? No. Elephant? Yes, we said that you can find some of them are huge like elephant. Very good. Dog? No. Goat? Yes, some of them have have horse. Like a goat, tick goat. Fish. Yes, fish, because some of them have uh, scales and spines, like fish. So the animals that we tick are frog, snake, elephant, goat, fish. Five animals. We are done from here. Open your practice book, page 10. Read base. Reading and understanding. Read base 18, 19 of the language book, the story. Again, choose the best word to complete each sentence. We have words here. Read the story again in your home with your mom or your dad and try to answer these questions according to the passage. Just 